Hello guys, welcome back to part 2 of this uh, future house tutorial series. I got a huge amount of support uh, on the last video, which is very nice, I really appreciate that. Everyone in the comments give a warm welcome to all of the new subscribers. In this episode we're gonna do a build up and a drop, and depending on how far we come we might do a part 3 where we kind of just finalize everything. As always, if you want to get the sounds that I use to create this track, you can go get everything on my website, links are down in the description. And while you're down there, join the Discord, we have a lot of fun over there, and uh, follow me on Twitch, Instagram, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, let's get right into the... <sighs> I had to turn off the monitors, they were doing a sparky thing. So let's just immediately copy over the drone, the snaps, the guitar loop. Hmm, yeah, let's actually cut off the bass and the snaps and stuff here. So let's just have the strings. Let's lower those a bit as well. And uh, here comes the fun part, right? So it's gonna add this big snare here, but we're gonna shorten it an automation clip let's say uh, 16 maybe I don't know let's add a couple more snares let's automate the pitch on that as well uh, let's go for some drop claps maybe that's a classic let's cut everything off uh, here I think and obviously we need some kind of uh, transition between these two parts, so we're just gonna copy some stuff. Uh, the impact there maybe, uh, all of this, oops. Uh, I wanna incorporate the, uh, the vocal as well somehow. Put a gate on that vocal as well. Yeah. So we're gonna add a gross beat. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that maybe. So it becomes uh, more uh, powerful, you know, more snappy. Maybe not that much. Uh, we'll work on that a bit later. Let's have a reverse sub drop. That sounds pretty cool. Um, this one is pretty cool, actually. Let's add a couple more risers. Maybe something like that is a good start. Sounds pretty good, but I want more impactful snares. Snares. Let's add this one. Let's maybe start to create a little melody that we can s sort of incorporate to fill out the build up a bit. Uh, we're just gonna create a little melody. And I want the melody uh, in the drop to start here. Right before the drop, I want the melody to go better in the same notes as the vocal. So maybe something like this. It sounds okay, it's something that we can start with anyway. So let's copy those, let's remove the piano. Let's see here, let's open up the silent bank. Like I said before, all of these sounds are uh, linked down in the description if you're interested in getting them. Uh, melody is sounding kind of trash right now, to be honest. Uh, but we got some nice layers. Let's add some OTT. A bit of Wave Shaper and an EQ. That's the most important part. Let's create a new melody from scratch, because that one wasn't really good. Let's try adding just a simple bass. Let's actually move on to the drop right here. Because I feel like it's easier to work with the melody when you have a drop setting instead. That way we can we can play around with the melody more around the bass that's gonna be in the drop, if you know what I mean. So, so we're gonna open up the sound bank. 
Just a simple base. Man, I gotta get something to drink. So we have a ton of reverb on the lead right now, so it will probably sound a bit weird, but uh... So here's a big thing in Future House, right? We have a ton of reverb on the lead. In Future House, a trick is to automate the reverb uh, quite heavily. So let's do this for example. So that makes it a lot more choppy and it sounds a bit too much now, but uh, we can always change this. It just gives us an idea of like how we want to shape our melody. I'm pretty happy with the first part. And we can obviously add some sidechain already. And uh, yeah, since we already started working on the drop, uh, we might as well just continue. Uh, my plan was to, you know, make a melody for the build-up, but I don't know. Let's just uh, go with the flow, you know? So we're just gonna add some effects to the bass. I'm gonna add a bit of Wave Shaper. It's a distortion plugin. And I'm also gonna shorten the release on the inside of Silence. An EQ to get rid of this uh, below sub frequencies. And uh, let's add, let's see if any one of these fits. I have these finished flickering reverb things. Uh, we want a bit more mid to the lead right away, so we can just go into here. That sounds a lot better, we just added two more layers. The short hard attacky and the future attack. Link down below. We can always go back to layer that a bit more if we need to, but for now let's start adding some drums. Uh, I love the kick hard too, I use it very very often. I've said before that it's my favorite kick of all time and I actually think it is, especially for future house. Let's shorten it just a bit. Uh, let's go ahead and add some claps. Let's add a few more bass layers, I think. Because we need the bass to have a bit more grit to it. Uh, let's see here. Uh, maybe this one. And we're gonna keep the grid layers on a separate layer. And the reason is we can keep this a bit more stereo, but we have to remove uh, the like sub and bass frequencies from it. Add a little bit of OTT as well, and let's add another layer. And I'm actually gonna try something here. See, I'm working on a Serum sound bank that will be out in a couple of weeks, and I think this sound could work. So let's add that and see how it sounds. It's a good, it's a definitely a good start. We have to add a bit of white noise to the first hit. Uh, let's add some one shots as well. So we go into synths. And let's add all of those to a channel and add some side chain. Alright, so that sounds uh, pretty good actually. It really helps to fill out stuff, you know. And together with the white noise, it just, it really helps. We can add the brass shots to the same channel. What the hell is happening to my sign, dude? I literally didn't do anything. Jesus Christ. So now the drop sounds like this. Uh, next natural step is of course chords. Uh, chords do a lot to uh, the overall uh, fullness of the drop. So in my silent sound bank I have this preset called simple saws that I use all the time. Uh, it's just a simple saw which were great for chords. So what we want to do is just copy the bass notes and drag them in there.
So all we want to do is route it to an empty channel. We're gonna add a bit of OTT. And a bit of sound goodizer. An EQ, we're gonna remove a lot of frequencies. And here we might want to start tweak the length of the notes. So maybe something like this. And let's add another chord layer. Uh, before we work any more on the drop, let's add a little um, pre-drop fill thing. And we have all of these uh, finished fills. But I want to keep it like really simple, so I just want to add some percussion. Maybe it's cooler to not have anything there at all, like with the vocal thing. So... Alright, alright, alright. So I think this video has gone on uh, long enough right now for, uh, for us to be able to make a part 3 uh, where we just finalize everything and uh, yeah, we make everything sound better and fuller than it is currently. Uh, the drop needs some more work, the build-up needs some more work, and I think the break needs a little bit of structuring maybe. But yeah, let's take a look at what we have so far, and then in part 3 we're just gonna finalize everything. Let's see what we have. Something's weighing heavy Created too much pressure, this ain't healthy We were all good, love was plenty Now look at the cards, love has dealt me So yeah, that's what we have so far, guys. I really hope you enjoyed part two. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. It really, really helps me out. I'm super happy you guys enjoyed part one of this series, so I hope this episode lived up to your expectations. Uh, in the next episode, we're just gonna finalize everything and uh, keep working on the drop buildup and stuff like that. So um, if you wanna support the channel, feel free to go down in the description to my website and pick up these sample packs and sound banks that I used to create this. Join our Discord community as well down below. We have some really talented people over there that are willing to help uh, with anything you need so um oh and if you want to join the live stream sometime feel free to check me out over on twitch link is also down in the description of course i'm gonna be playing among us with a couple of subscribers uh in the near future so definitely uh, stick around if that's something you're interested in and uh yeah thanks again guys uh i'll see you in the next video bye bye